Hey guys, so I've been getting a question quite a lot in my comment section and it's around people in high school saying what do I do to prepare to become an actuary? You know, what subject should I take? What book should I be reading? What should I be doing? So let's start off with the subjects to take. I mean mathematics is by far the most important subject that you can be focusing on at school. Not that actuaries are only mathematicians but maths does play quite a big foundational role in a lot of the actuarial subjects. To give you a bit of like a metaphor or an analogy which our lecturer told us, he said that maths is kind of like fitness to a soccer player. So you can't play soccer at the professional level you know, if you're not fit, but there's way more to soccer than just you know, having a good fitness. You need to know how to dribble, you need to know how to kick, you need to know how to tackle. And the same is with actuarial science. Mathematics is our fitness. So if you can't do maths, you're going to really struggle to do all the other things. But maths is not the only skill that you require. There's also a whole bunch of other things that you're going to be picking up along the way. But having said that, maths is very important. Two other subjects that are critical to get into the actuarial course here in South Africa are science and English. And a lot of people say, but why, why science and why English? And, and that is a good question. I think science because it's all you know it's a subject based around logic and actuarial science is also based around logic and in science you're dealing with forces and in actuarial science you're dealing you know with the force of mortality there is a little bit of a crossover but it's more about getting your mind to think in a you know a rational way that makes science so important english is also critical in the sense that Actuarial science is not just mathematical, you know, you will be having to write some essays, there will be some communication, and I mean, at the later part of the exams, all the answers are essay type questions, there isn't that much maths, particularly at the level that I'm at. So this is where your English becomes very important. Other subjects that could help is history, again, just for developing your communication skills, accounting, it's not critical because you do do a lot of it in first year, but it's always nice to know how to read, you know, financial statements. And very important, but they don't say this one, and I think this one helped me a lot, was computer programming. You know, computer programming, I think, is going to be the next big thing. So you definitely want to, if you can choose your subjects at school, is choose computer programming. You know, you don't want to spend your time playing games. You want to spend your time making games. You want to be figuring out the code and programming. So start learning whatever language you can and get programming. That is critical. Other things to do while you're in high school and you're preparing to become an actuary is reading, you know, just general reading around financial aspects. Um, read books by Warren Buffett, George Soros, you know, get a good understanding of the financial market and how these guys are doing. Um, maybe play on the stock market, talk to an old brother or your parents, say, hey, let's buy a few shares, let's go through that whole process. Um, and then, you know, just reading like The Economist or the Business Day News and, and just keeping abreast with what's happening in the world from like an economic point of view. And then, I guess finally, something which I didn't do, but I think it would actually be quite beneficial if you did do, was talk to your parents around the actuarial products that they bought. And this will be like, talk to them about, you know, what is their retirement plan? You know, have they got a pension? How are they saving towards it? Is it defined benefit? Is it defined contribution? You know, talk, talk to them about that. See what, if they have any life policies and ask them, is it a term, term assurance or is it a whole life? And ask them why they chose the one over the other. If they don't know why they chose the one over the other, it means that their financial advisor didn't do a very good job. But your parents should be or should have bought quite a few actuarial products. So talk to them, ask to see the policy documents, and just get you know, get familiar with with the products that actuaries actually end up making. And I guess yeah, that's that's basically it. Is do do your maths homework, uh, try and choose programming, do well in science, do well in English, maybe choose accounting and history if you want. But most importantly, is just yeah. Read, do a lot of reading. I read books by Warren Buffett that really inspired me. Um, I read another book called More Money Than God, uh, which was the rise of hedge funds and how they were like obliterating the market. It was very entertaining stuff. So definitely do a lot of research and, and figure out now if, if you want to become an actuary. Maybe you do all this stuff and you're like, wow, this is, this is boring. And then, you know, move on to, to something else. So rather make that decision or do all your research now than say you're finishing school and you've got like two months to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life. 
and then it's quite a stressful situation. So while you're in high school, you do have the luxury of time. So use it to your advantage and yeah, do research. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.